chick, na kolanda yo eh. Est to west, na kolanda yo. My faithful friend, you're there everywhere I go in my life My faithful friend, in the darkness the light shone over my life My faithful friend, you bring peace in my heart in the trouble Faithful friend, you are Hello everybody, I'm very happy to know, I mean to know you men in front of your television now for a second time. I'm very happy when we meet each other, when we come across every Monday. It makes me happy. You know, as uh, the pastor said, faithful friends. Jesus is our faithful friends. He's our faithful friend, the faithful friend that we have in, into the bar of high, the bar of my, our heart. Okay? We have to praise him, we have to worship. But in Today program we're gonna speak about poverty, a choice or a fatality. Okay? But before that I've received Mr Mr. Timmy Polupe for a second time. Mr. Timmy Polupe is going to teach us very. We have to avoid saying or using very several of time. Again and again. Example you say very very important. No, it's not good saying like this. The reason why I'm not alone, I'm together with Mr. Timmy Paul Lupe and his team. Timmy Paul, how are you? Very well. And you, Mr. Mike? Yes, I'm very happy to see you for a second time. Oh, me too. I am so happy to be here again. Okay, thank you very much. And Mr. Mr. Colinet, okay? Uh, you have the floor. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Colinet Numba. Yes. And I'm his right hand man and also his teacher. Okay, and the second one is Mr. I'm Eduard. I'm a teacher at the TES. I'm a member of the CEC. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very happy to see you. Yeah. Okay, good to see you too. And what can you tell viewers before starting? Uh, I'll just tell them to be hooked on watching this uh, mm -hmm. English program and to keep on learning. Yes, keep on learning English. Oh, this is a good advice. We have to keep on learning English. How, I mean, when you speak about keep on learning English, okay, in which way? Watching TV, English, I mean, films, reading books, dictionary, how? There are many ways of learning English. Uh, example, me. Uh, first of all, I didn't know how to speak English and I started myself. I just bought a book and I started reading, reading and after my uncle who studied at Cali came and trained me. We just did one show that is, uh, I had this, that fire who were stirring in me. Okay. I just kept on and I finally met my master and we did one year and after that I was alone and I kept through just reading books and watching movies and being around those who are English speakers too okay. and this is the best way to improve English through music, through videos, movies and being around English speakers. We'll have time, have much time to talk about it. Uh, Miss Colin, did you have something to add about it? Yeah. What I can head up on that is the best way of learning English is to that is what the the, fir the the way that we can facilitate people to learn better is through the show or like we are doing an English show. That's gonna help everybody. You can just you cannot be here present but at your home, where at whatever you are, you can be learning. That mm -hmm. is the good stuff. Okay, thank you very much. I, I feel that you're a teacher. Yeah. You have a good methodology of teaching people. Thank you. You can <laughs> teach people in two weeks, but he speaks. <laughs> 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 Not really in two weeks. We, it, it takes the time to, mm -hmm. to know it. But if you have 
the wheel of learning. Mm -hmm. It can be just in a month. You can be speaking English like an American. <laughs> like an American. <laughs> Not more than American, but like it. Like American. No more than American, but like an American. Like ja only like an American. Yeah, we cannot, yeah. We cannot, you know, we cannot speak more than them, you know, possible. So, mm, it depends on your evolution. Okay. Your, what, mm -hmm. you, what you are really doing. If you are really devoted by learning English, you can do it. But you can you can just speak more than American who didn't pass by school. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. You know. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, give the microphone to the Mr. Um, to Mr. Timmy Paul. Timmy Paul. Okay. Now, this is the time for you to teach us about very. But before that, okay, I'm going to ask an element over there. Mr. I mean Jojo is going to put an element so as to, okay, to to put it clear. Okay, you have the floor, Miss. Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see here, we have words to use instead of very. As Mr. Max said at the beginning of this show, we have the word very that helps us to talk about the frequency of uh, and the degree of a word then when we overdo it it's not really something to encourage so you can learn a different word to use instead of uh, talking and use overusing very for example someone can start uh, this lesson is very 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 important so when you say very three times we understand the message but why not just say something only one word that can really communicate the the degree of your of the importance of the thing so let's go with the first one we have here very noisy so you can come and uh, find a place that is very noisy we have the word deafening so you can just go quickly this place is very noisy this place is deafening we have the second word we have very often we usually use it you can say very often uh, you can say uh, this event happens very often you can say very 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 often so that's not really good yes. then we have then we have the word frequently this event happens frequently okay then we have very old this is better to use it with the uh, objects because we have the word ancient I'm not really uh, sure that you can say uh, my friend Colin is old and you say my friend Colin is ancient so I think it's better it's it's more with the words uh, sorry with the the subject with the object okay so we can go with very old like this road is very old and this road is ancient very well so now we can go with the the other one very old-fashioned very old-fashioned so now we have a word for that only one word for that archaic those who speak French they can see um, they can spot uh, some French there you know archaic we also have it in French archaic so you can use it you can say uh, your clothes are very old-fashioned uh, you can just go pinpoint your clothes are archaic <laughs> okay so then we have the word very open so uh, when we can talk about the government for example you say this government is very open everything they do the leaders of the government come on TV and they explain what they do so you can say this government is transparent I think the word transparent conveys really uh, your thoughts now we have very painful we have very painful uh, when you have a dolorous plague then you can use the word uh, explaining with the degree of uh, pain uh, excruciating so when you use excruciating is really really high in degree so you can say as we are Christian we can use uh, this example Jesus Christ uh, had an excruciating pain on the cross so uh, we can continue with very pale you see your friend walking on the street and 
Oh, you're very pale. <laughs> so you can just go. You have a very uh, ashen uh, face, or you are really ashen, or you are ashen. So the word ashen goes directly by explaining very pale. And then we go with uh, the word very perfect. So you can go directly with flawless. We can say, oh, Mr. Mike has a very perfect skin. So I can go with very perfect, but the best way of saying that, you can use only one word to say, Mr. Mr. My skin is flawless. Then we can proceed by the word and uh, uh, poor then we have very poor we can say that or why not just use one word talking about it then we can go with the word destitute this is a very poor family as an example this family is destitute then we can continue with our word we have very powerful very powerful we can go with compelling then someone can talk about a voice. Your voice is very powerful when you speak I like I like shiver. And you can use uh, your voice is compelling. So I think the word compelling really convey the degree of the your thinking. Then we have the word very pretty. Uh, you are walking on the street and you you see a very a nice lady and <laughs> then you can go with uh, you have you you pretty or you very pretty then we just have the word beautiful that is also used as well and uh, we continue with very quick very quick we can have one word to use rapid uh, I don't know if someone can help me here with an example so very quick we can go with what Mm. you are eating very quickly but what that then I can go uh, the other way um, you are rapid when you are reading you are very quick when you are reading then we can go with you are really rapid oh you are rapid so the word the single word rapid uh, says very quick then we have very quiet someone is on the corner sitting there Tassi turn quiet and you say why are you so quiet and then you can have the word hushed he was he was so hushed in his own place so you have the word hushed talking about very quiet then we have the uh, the word rainy very rainy talking about how uh, the, the frequency of the rain in a place so if you're saying this is a very rainy day or so it's very rainy today then you can go with pouring it's pouring today so we can understand pouring or even pouring down you have a lot of quantity of water falling out of heaven then we have the word very rich we know uh, famous people of the world who are rich so you can go with Mr. Mike or Mr. Coline is very rich or you can just go with one word wealthy Coline is wealthy then we go with the word sad very sad uh, we usually hear it from people I found my friend who was very 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 sad okay we understand what you want to say but why not instead of just using very 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 sad why not just saying sorrowful so we have the word sorrowful I found my friend so sorrowful he was so sorrowful he was sorrowful so we understand what it means then we continue with our uh, word here very scared ah, I know many people when they watch movies or horror movies they are like oh, very scared this movie is so scared so uh -huh. you have very scared then you have one word uh, to use to also convey your message petrified you have petrified maybe you were not expecting someone to come at the door and then someone appears and oh my god I was petrified when you appeared okay then we continue with the word very scary just going the same way very scary then we have chilling I come to visit your place and your room is um, very scary I can say oh your room, your room is chilling 
Okay, then we continue. We have serious, very serious. I know we all find people when we are talking in the conversation using very serious a lot. You know, he's very, very serious. So why not just go uh, with the word? Okay, let me change. This one is the degree of the situation. When, for example, you do something uh, that is dangerous, then you can say the consequences of your act are serious. The consequences of your act are grave. So you can use the word grave. And then we have a very sharp, when you have a knife that is uh, uh, that can really cut you off easily then you can have you can use the the word kin this knife is kin and then we have the word very shiny when you say ah today uh, this light is very shiny i'm almost blinded so you can i'm almost i'm almost blinded by the light so you can go with shiny uh replacing it with the word gleaming gleaming so you can see the the, the the power of the word gleaming talking about a powerful light so we continue with our word we have short then we have the usage of it with very then someone can go with very 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 short why not telling someone okay you don't want an, an individual to talk and goes on and on and on and you can tell someone can you be very short or can you be brief so i think uh, that is a good word to use brief then we have very shy uh, i i think i was very shy when i was growing up <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i don't know if you but uh so shy is really used a lot so you can say someone can be tempted to say why are you very shy why are you so shy he is very very shy or she is very very shy then we have the word timid and those of those who speak french they recognize the word timid because we also have it in french okay so uh we can say linda is very shy linda is timid then we have our very last word simple uh we have simple here that is you can use just basic your house is so simple your house is basic so you have the simplicity in what you do uh i'm wondering if i i jumped on something uh did you jump okay so i think we have all of our words to replace uh the usage of very so Reading very fast. Yes. No? Ahead. So, uh, so words to use instead of very. You have deafening for noisy. You have frequently for often. You have ancient for old. You have archaic for very old-fashioned. You have transparent for open. You have excruciating for painful. You have ashen for pale. You have flawless for perfect. You have destitute for poor. You have compelling for powerful when you use it with very uh, very powerful so you have compelling we have beautiful for pretty we, we we have rapid for quick we have hushed for quiet we have pouring for raining we have a wealthy for rich we have sorrowful for sad we have petrified for scared we have chilling for scary we have uh, uh grave for serious we have kin for sharp we have gleaming for shiny we have brief for short and we have timid for shy and we have basic for simple so that was what we prepared for you today and i hope you have enjoyed it i give mr mike back uh, the microphone do you agree about it yes we do mr mike it was really interesting it was really terrific and fabulous let me clarify something okay using very is not forbidden it's not forbidden using very but you have to avoid the i mean tautology okay using very again and again time to time very very strong mr mike is very very strong why not using very only mr mike is very strong okay thank you very much but as i said in the beginning today we are going to talk about poverty a choice or a fatality right but if you have a viewpoint or you have i mean an idea or 
you need to contribute here in now English TV show. You'd better send an, an SMS. We're going to read it. It will be perfect, okay? Mr. Timmy Paul, is it true that some people are born poor? Oh, very well, Mr. Mike. For the thank you for the question. Uh, so I can go yes. I can say yes because we can see that we we can see different type of families. Uh, we can understand some people come on earth uh, uh, through a very wealthy family, and others not. So I would say I, I do think I do think that uh, some people are born poor. Okay. Do you have this? Uh, I mean, uh, the same. What you've seen about this question? Well, in thank you for the question. In reply to the question, I can say it depends. Uh, first of all, yes, but after it depends on the way someone is seeing himself. I mean, his beliefs. So later, when you are growing up, so then you have you have the possibility to change your fate. But for the first time when you are in a poor family you born in a poor family so you are considered like uh, you a poor thank you keep on keep on speaking okay um how i can give an example uh for example someone who is born in a poor country in a poor family and when he grow up he only thinks he believes like others as people used to say here in Congo that this country won't develop mm -hmm. and this country won't go forward we won't move forward this is about the state's mind of someone so when your state mind you have a positive state mind you will improve you will succeed you will perform great things and um, you need to be motivated mm -hmm. and you need to keep creating imagining and applying your imagination because when um, you stop imagining and creating your imagination that will be the debasement that will be the failure point of your life in everywhere you are in the world even if you are in the United States but you don't trust you don't believe in what you want and you don't you, you don't master your craft and you don't practice what you are meant to practice so your fate will be uh, a fatality like we yeah have all right <laughs> all right in another way we have to be optimistic yeah right <laughs> all right yes you have the form mr colin yeah what i can head up on that uh, I, I mean that I'm in the same page of with our b our brothers, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna say that if someone, if you, yes, you can someone can born poor because if can you imagine that he he, he were born in the poor family, the the environment that he is growing up with is a poor one, so definitely this one is poor, but not poor f in mind, is poor physically. But in your mind, it doesn't mean that you are you are keep being poor. Mm -hmm. you, you cannot be poor. You in the poor family, but it doesn't mean that you really really poor. All right. Physically you poor, but mm -hmm. because you, you doesn't you do, you don't have mm -hmm. material, you don't have financial support, but mm -hmm. you you not really poor in your mind. In your mind, yeah. Let me let me add something. You know, I, I want to give you an example. Someone needs to rent a house right but saying that oh i'm going to rent the house in the suburbs because i don't have much money you see yourself who told you to think like like that yourself in your mind why only suburbs why not saying i'm going to struggle i have to struggle so as to have i mean to rent the house even downtown yeah that's why our brother says that there is the state of mind the state being of mind. poor comes from your mind mm -hmm. yeah yes mr timmy paul you have the floor I appreciate it really. Okay, so Good. as we, we can end on this topic, mm -hmm. we have the power to change our destiny. As we say, a poverty is a choice or a state of mind or a fatality. Mm -hmm. So if you abandon yourself, as my friend said, the state of mind, if you abandon yourself from here, you are going to be down from the rest of your life. 
the fight is in the head mm -hmm. so if you are ready to fight if you are a belligerent to fight against poverty you will eventually have the means to overcome it because when there is a saying goes when you want you can it's really about the volition it's really about the willpower what you want what do you want so we can continue by saying by encouraging people to, mm -hmm. to think differently as we have an idiom here to think outside the box to think in a very different way to overcome poverty mr timipur what is the definition of term poverty okay poverty we have several definitions but if i can go very short it's uh, just a state of being destitute so poverty is a state of lacking financial means so i can go with that it's very simple that way all right but what these kind of men can do so as to overcome to that situation okay. because you speak about destitution right can yeah. you give them some other strategies for going ahead yeah so i think there are different ways to overcome poverty uh we are here in the, in the congo the congo the democratic republic of congo is classified within the third world country so we can say poor country third world country so the majority of people here the the third the third quarter of the of the population uh is poor in congo mm -hmm. so but we cannot let that uh, overcome her, us in our brain so we have some strategies many people now are talking about entrepreneurship and I think it is even the core of change in a country in a country sorry so if people start thinking about entrepreneur embracing entrepreneurship I think that can bring change in a wide range because last time I was here I said I was an entrepreneur and I said, I said an entrepreneur is someone who takes risks. Is someone who uh, uh, takes a stake in the ground, put, puts a stake in the ground and go and goes. Someone who moves forward. Someone who brings idea and realize it, implement ideas, and make it make them work. So you can see the entrepreneurship is really the key because. Uh, the government may not be able to pro to provide the, the the job for everyone in the country, mm -hmm. but if someone every if every individual in the country uh, accepts to um, stand up mm -hmm. and say, okay, I'm gonna create a business. Okay. First of all, that he he will, he's going to create a change for his own life and influence others because others will say, oh. We know this guy. We know Mr. Mike. We know Mr. Edward. He was poor, but now he is a successful man. What did he do? Why not follow his steps? So I think entrepreneurship is one of the key of success. But this is entrepreneurship. This is the fact of decreasing poverty in a country. Yeah. With entrepreneurship, really the poverty rate will mm -hmm. decrease. Because mm -hmm. if the jobs are being created mm -hmm. by entrepreneurs, yes and many people copying the examples of entrepreneurs mm -hmm. so we understand more entrepreneurs equal more jobs and what really increased poverty in a country so uh, i think what increases poverty in the country i think is negligence of the population negligence from the government and uh, indifference also because you can see uh, someone who has the potential of bringing change in a country by creating jobs by creating ventures by creating companies and so on but he just careless uh, if an individual just thinks about himself you can see uh, nothing will, will change because he's egotistical so I think it's negligence from in a government level in a individual level I, I, I don't know if my friends have something to add about so okay I'm going to give them the phone but Thank you very much. what can we do as a country so as to fight from poverty hmm. so as a country I think from the top down people have to think with a, a very positive in a, in a very positive way like why not want our friend or our fellow citizen to be like me i think that we can move with this creed we do unto others what we would have them do unto us 
if you are an entrepreneur if you have the, pot the potential to invest money why not investing money why not creating jobs because i think it's the problem of the will generally people in congo are like selfish they don't want to see others develop i think that is a a block something that is really blocking the development we need to be open and and be happy of the success of another person we, we need to open ourselves and create business as and not create a very difficult atmosphere mm -hmm. to people to get a job we need to facilitate we need to open our hands and receive people who are applying uh, for your job and give them with a good heart so this is this is the key the will of giving others all right brother we have the floor but I often say that some people are lazy and they lack the self-discipline self-motivation to achieve great things um, to those who are but I think it's not your case no, it's you're not it's lazy. Not mine. You I'm have the self-discipline and no, self-motivation. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I can just give them a piece of my mind because um, maybe we can differ in our standpoints. Uh, but uh, I mean, first of all, we we need to be like uh, my friend Timmy Paul has said to take risks. When you don't take risks, you you want you want go forward you want be feel that you ready to do something to change the community you are living in and um, another problem is self-discipline you know people can have good rules they can decide to do great things but the problem is the discipline do they discipline themselves as they pr pretend mm -hmm. uh, that's another problem so we need to discipline ourselves and like um, to be like soldiers who are ready to to be from through yeah. a helicopter and mm -hmm. so you we need to brace ourselves and to not count or to lean on other because when you are just um, depending on other advice you will depend you your life will be I mean um, in their dependence you need to be independent and uh, you need to think outside a box you need to create something new in your life and change your community even when other people are saying no it's impossible we can't do this we are we don't have the wherewithal to do to implement our blueprint you must always keep believing keep trusting and keep uh, implementing what you have in mind to thank you very much out. mr colinier you have decided the same question yeah what i can add up on there is that you say that people are lazy, lazy. Right? Okay, i'm gonna say a couch <laughs> they lack, <potato>. okay <laughs> self-discipline yeah. so a couch potato might avoiding staying hanging around with hanging out with those who are not going anywhere that is the first one but um, that is that is the problem of uh, self-discipline first of all but um, what I can say again being lazy is not my my way of being it's not our our way of being because our dear brother Timothy if we together we are hanging out together because he got a vision he's not lazy mm -hmm. that is going to I'm going to imitate him in some cases and him also is going to him to me him to my my way of being in some in other cases that's that's what the way that the cookie crumbles that the way of <laughs> the way that we are living together yeah. that makes our stronger mm -hmm. you know let me tell you something when we're, when we're speaking about laziness okay mm -hmm. other people for the time being they're watching you on TV okay yeah. But when they came and they come across with you on the streets, they can ask you money. You know, I'll see you on TV. You know, you have much money. You better give me, okay? Yeah. Okay, we don't eat. We don't eat. Sometimes yeah. they say, oh, you don't eat. <laughs> but I don't have food. Here with me, okay? Yeah, yes. that is a kind of a brown nosing. They are brown nosing on everyone who's passing. Boss, 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 you can come here. And if you're giving 500 today, it goes to, to, to drink Zododo. That is yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. just to be lazy and a couch parade, a big one.
<laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Timmy Paul. You'd better uh, get the microphone. Okay. Okay. So I can aid on this. Uh, being poor, being lazy, as we're talking about laziness is something to really avoid because that can really destroy your entire life because as we are here together with Mr. Mike, Mr. Colline and Mr. Edward we are young people just like other young people there if uh, those who are lazy cannot learn from us so others out there can still uh, find us as model so I think someone has to decide on him uh, within himself like if I am lazy I sleep from uh, midnight in the morning I, I keep on oversleeping I will accomplish nothing as the there is one saying goes do something today that your future self will thank you for so imagine if you are doing nothing you are be, uh, being happy you are rejoicing in being lazy day after day Monday after Tuesday and until Sunday you have accomplished nothing what are you going to uh, uh, bequeath to your to the next generation to your children for example so youth young people everyone watching us today we need to stand up we need to do something to refuse this mindset of being poor to refuse poverty poverty is not a fatality mm -hmm. but you'd better know that no one chooses to be poor mr timmy paul sometimes it is i mean the family situation that they they found yeah we, 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 we have people. another saying again that goes you may be born poor mm -hmm. but if you die poor is your choice so i think we cannot uh, have it as a reason that we ha we hide behind of our uh, um, situation, financial state. Like I was born poor, my parents are poor, and, and it's over. I will die poor. It's your own choice. You have the way. You have the potential in you. You have, if you have the courage, you have the mentors, you have the model to follow. You will eventually overcome that state of mind. It's just about a choice. Be you. Stand up and. Re avoid that circumvent that state of, state of mind poor being poor is not a fatality you have a choice to work hard and to thrive and succeed in your life thank you very much mr timmy poor we are in the end of our i mean uh, our english tv program okay but i think uh, we are going to keep on next time even okay it will be great but let me tell you that if you don't like your situation then fi fix it right you'd better be happy tomorrow will be better okay but i want to add something that no one chooses to be poor you know it depends on circumstances of the situation and the person if you think over you say that no i didn't come to accompany people here in this world i have to struggle i have to work even if you know family everybody is poor but i'm going to reach the purpose I'm going to study. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to work tricky. And tomorrow you will be a VIP. Okay? A very important person. Right? Excuse me. I, 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 I have just received an SMS here. Hi. I am Mr. F Mr. Fiston. I can join you. Oh, can I join you? Never mind, okay? Call us after this TV show. We are going to talk, I mean, in short and in large. It will be great. Thank you very much. I think I got it right. See you next time. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Bye. My faithful friend, you're there everywhere I go in my life. My faithful friend in the darkness, the light shone over my life. My faithful friend, you bring peace in my heart in the trouble.